welcome to another Helio Wave Forecast educational video. This time around, we're going to take a look at the expanded flat. An expanded flat is a way of flat when they have some difference uh, with a regular flat. In a regular flat, as you guys know, it's a structure when you got three ways down, three ways back, and a regular five way move to the downside if it is a bull mark. Let's put a bull mark as a symbol. So that's, an, that's a flat, a regular flat. Now, what it means is that, as you guys notice, in an expanded flat, the measures of the wave A, which means the beginning of A at the end of wave A, they are respects it, I mean it all works. B or C do not break above or below the wave A distance. So technically speaking, we are within a range. Now a defined range. Now in an expanded flat we have this is a bull market expanded flat when we got A B C A A B C B one two three four five C and you're noticing that this B wave goes above the beginning of A and the C wave goes below the beginning of uh, the end of A. Same here, you got in the bear market, you got one, two, three, and then you see how B goes below the beginning of A and how C goes below the top of A. The train goes in like this and go out, goes out like this thing goes right here goes in goes out now measures very easy you have to refer to previous videos that we have done the first one is zigzag what is is a zigzag and in zigzag the wave a and b most of the times they take the form of a zigzag meaning that you're gonna get a b and z when z and a they are equals in both legs if it's gonna be a zigzag sometimes the B ways take the form of a triangle many things happens as a corrective structure maybe I've seen it flat within flats on the B ways to get more complicated but like we always say as far as you identify the flat is a very easy structure to be traded the reason being is why because as far as you know in a flat that you got a three ways down, a three ways out, you know automatically that is a flat. And you know that because the train is to the outside in the bull market, you know that the, this law right here is completed. I mean, you have to fade that law. And then how you do you fade it? With previous videos in the modest wave, you know the distance that the fifth way should take and then you're going to start buying the market from there. The same here, you're going to start selling the market from there. Now, the inside wave, how you measure, like I say, A, B, C, where C ideally equal to A. So, that's the first measure. Now, how you measure the top of the B wave? Two ways. The first one, A, B, C, with C equal to A. Second, you trace an inverse figure to the A way and ideally wave B is gonna end at the 1.236, 1.618 of the inverse feeble of wave A. Another thing, beside those two feeble, let me leave those two feeble and take the result. You're gonna you're gonna go and you're gonna say right here you're gonna mention wave A and you're gonna go and you trace the relation of C compares to A and that's gonna take you to I mean equal X 1.236 or 1.618 and those are the points when the market should retreat back in a B way when it's a flat now to mention the the A of C, you use, you use the same scenario. You get back, you mention the wave A, and then 
you put it on the top of the B way and then you're gonna end it you're gonna start buying because it's an expanded flat you're gonna start buying at the 1.236 1.618 but always below the C way right that's one way another way to do it is you do an inverse retracement of the B way that you identify already and the 1.236 and the 1.618 also are turning point and finally you're gonna get and because you know that wave 5 ends on the equals to 1 1.618 inverse of 4 1.236 inverse of 4 or 618 or 1 3 you always gonna locate the FIBO area that come, I mean when the FIBOs get together right there and then from there you're gonna start your long positions if it's a bull market now on the real market we have this this is churches that very weird to spot but we have identified one in the cat in the dollar cat in the daily charge you're gonna see that the that the train is to the downside so it comes from here and then you got one two three this is a one two three notice that the B wave goes below the beginning of the A wave and then you got one two three four five on the C way that goes above the beginning of the A way by just a few pips but well it's an expanded flat right there I mean it didn't reach the 2.36 right here or the 2 3 point out the 1.236 right here but notice how the legs are related to the equal side right there and are related to the 1.236 to the downside down right here the wrist trade was very strong and that's the reason you don't get to the 1.236 so guys i hope you understand and expand the flat structure and we soon is gonna do a running flat which is more or less the same things only that the seaway do not get below the beginning the the end of the a way okay hope you guys understand the video thank you